Asante everyone. Good morning. Thank you for joining. And hope everyone is doing well. And uh, let's get situated, let's get comfortable in whatever position you feel comfortable in. And we'll start with chanting of Om five times. So let's take a deep inhalation. Oh. And relax. Chanting of Om is a very powerful vibration. So let's say your mind is disturbed for any reason. Just sit and just chant for one minute, two minutes, whatever time you have. You will see your mind will become more calmer and relaxed. Okay, so with that in mind, I, the soul, am going to now work on my body. So let's take a deep inhalation. That's our first breathing. And exhale. So we're using the power of our breath, inhaling, and feel the capacity of your breath, um, your lungs capacity, as you inhale and exhale. So as you inhale, you should feel bottom, middle, and top portion of your lungs working, and then exhale in the same pace. Inhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. As you're inhaling, let's keep this mind very busy as well. Okay. So it's a mind and body alignment. It's a mind and body balance. It's an exercise where mind is also focused and your actions together. And that's why it is said karma yogi. Yeah. While doing your actions, Remember him. So of course, our mind is going to be focused in that divine energy. We're retrieving his energy and using that power of breath. And as you do that, each and every cells of your body are ignited with your willpower to take care of this body. With your willpower, your immune system becomes better. With your willpower, you can make impossible possible. Without our discipline, our actions, no matter how much we continue to speak, it will not become practical. 
So as I inhale, I can feel my capacity of the lungs. As I exhale, I release all the carbon dioxide, nitrogen, any bad gases we have in our body, any life force energy that is being blocked by whatever means. We're releasing that. So as you inhale, you can feel the oxygen going through your brain. And then as you exhale, you can release all the tension, all that we are holding on. So continue this breathing in such a way where they're both aligned, yeah, mind and body. A lot of times the mind is very busy listening. It's very soothing, so it feels good. And then the actions are not there. And a lot of times we're doing the action, but the mind has gone somewhere shopping, somewhere to do any chores that we have pending. To bring them in balance is yoga. Bringing anything in alignment is the balance that we want to achieve. Deep inhalation and exhalation. This is your immune system. Your respiratory works to make each and every cells of your body function to its highest capacity. So if your lungs are strong, then your immune system is strong. And that is why when people have asthma, bronchitis, any diseases such as respiratory related, their energy decreases. So slowly with the practice of inhalation and exhalation, we have seen even asthma, any, any respiratory related diseases have actually gone because this becomes your medicine. Yeah, let the exercise be your medicine. Let the right diet be our medicine. Let the right thinking be our medicine. And relax. Let's go ahead and do our next breathing, forceful exhalation. So we'll do this for five minutes. Each second, one exhalation. If it's too hard for you, just do every two seconds, one exhalation. This is the only breathing which actually works directly with your organs. Yeah. So let's say your pancreas are not working properly, your kidneys are not functioning properly, your stomach is not working properly, your intestines are not working properly, anything in those midsection organs. The minute you apply forceful exhalation, all of those organs are getting the exercise. See, it should be <clears throat> very easy and very relaxing. All I'm doing is using the power of my nose, breathing to exhale. So not much effort, just making sure the air is blowing out. 
As you do that, your midsection goes in on its own. Imagine tucking your tummy in. We do this for five minutes. So every second, one minute, 60 times. In five minutes, you're doing 300 times. So 300 times you're tucking your tummy in. Imagine the exercises all the organs are receiving just with the power of your breath. As you're exhaling, again, let's connect to that divine energy and receive the rays of healing energy and radiate that to each and every organs in your midsection, especially where you want. If any of your organs are weak, go ahead and use it there. Just visualize. That organ is working perfectly now. So we're visualizing that organ is working perfectly. My actions are the effort that I'm putting for that organ to work perfect. So again, in practical, it will show because my mindset is positive in the action that I'm putting in. It's almost like sowing the seed and then you're watering it with the action and then the fruits are gonna be there. If you tell me I want fruit today, that cannot happen. Can it? But very first day when you plant any seeds, that zeal and enthusiasm is there, correct? That something is gonna grow in here. Every day you water, so that zeal and enthusiasm is there. So that is how our life is. Without positive thinking, without positive actions, our life is incomplete. And relax. Wonderful. Okay, so that was five minutes. You actually did 300 times. That's wonderful. Now, the next breathing is Anulom Below, alternate nostril breathing for five minutes again, stabilizing the mind, brain, left and right side. Inhale through your left. Exhale right. Inhale right. And exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. And exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. And let's continue this using the power of our healing energy that my left side <clears throat> of the brain is completely balanced. My right side of the brain 
is completely balanced. Emotional and the discipline side. When they both are in balance, you're able to make decisions in the right way. When we're too right-sided, when we use too much of the emotional side, then the intellect becomes emotionally. Whatever decision you make will be based on those emotions. Now, if you use the left side, <clears throat> those emotions are very disciplined. So, you have to make sure that both are balanced. And how do we know that both are getting balanced? As you're doing this breathing, you're stabilizing your mind. And you can see as you inhale and exhale, your mind is more calmer and relaxed. With every exercise, breathing exercise, your mind definitely becomes more calmer. As you're breathing, when we are actively participating in balancing anything, that balance comes automatically. Sometimes it's very subtle, but even that subtle channel energy opens up without us putting any more effort. So let's say today we have situations that we are all in. Billions of us are in that situation where we create more of a fearful energy. One is taking, <clears throat> taking care of your body and the other is creating fear in my mind. That what if this happens? What if that happens? When you do what, you have, what you're supposed to do, then that fear goes away. But if you don't participate in taking care of yourself, that fear will always be there. To get rid of the fear, we have to be actively thinking right and doing the right stuff. Then there is no fear actually. Fear only comes when we are weak. Yeah. And the weakness, each one of us have the weaknesses in different shape and form. We haven't attained that perfection stage. So when those weaknesses are coming, when you're stabilized, that willpower will actually take that weakness away. And slowly with that discipline, that power of doing what you're supposed to do will take that fear away. What is the fear of? The number one fear each one of us are facing is what if? <laughs> what if hasn't even happened? <laughs> but what if, if I get this? What if I get in this situation? Just live in a moment. It's okay. Even all of this will pass by. People say the world will be very challenging, very different. I say the world will be very beneficial. Life will be amazing after this. We will all be awakened in a very positive way. So when we're all awakened in a positive way, the world has to become positive and beautiful. So where's the fear? And relax. Wonderful. Okay, and relax. Let's go ahead and do our exercises. If you want to stand up, you may do so. Otherwise, let's just stand and shake our tree. So just kind of just whatever tension you're holding, just relax it. Just feels good. Inhale and exhale. And any time during the day, you can do this exercise. It just feels good. Yeah. 
it's almost like something you don't want and you're shaking it off. Yeah. So release the tension because nobody wants tension. All right, and relax. Go ahead and put your hands in your prayerful position. As you inhale, bring your arms out. Wonderful. And feel that stretch. Feel the shoulder blades in the back coming together. Exhale, come back in. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale back in. Inhale. And just say you're almighty, powerful, strong, and you're perfectly healthy. Wonderful. Put your hands on your head as you inhale. Go ahead and stand up on your toes and stay there if you can and exhale down. Wonderful. Inhale. Visualize your energy rising from toes all the way up to your head. Exhale down. Inhale. And exhale down. Wonderful. Inhale. Imagine you're strong and stable. Inhale. And exhale. Visualize yourself standing on the top of the mountain. And exhale down. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Let's do the embracing pose. So inhale. And exhale. Wonderful. Inhale. And let's give love to everyone around us. And imagine the world is perfect. And exhale. Visualize I'm a fearless soul. And exhale. Inhale. You're giving energy of love and peace to the whole world. And exhale. Inhale. Life is beautiful. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Wonderful. Okay. And now with your right hand, go ahead and turn to the left side. Beautiful. And feel that stretch on the right side. Exhale. And the other side. Wonderful. And relax. Inhale. All the exercises we're doing, they're very, very easy, yet very powerful. Yeah, because they're working directly on your joints, all of them. And exhale. And relax. Inhale, left. And exhale, right. And exhale, and one more time, left. And relax, wonderful. Okay, let's do our finger knuckles and just imagine and visualize that they're working perfect, they're relaxed. And thank them for doing all the work they do for the whole day. And make a fist. 
Gratitude is very, very important. The time that we are dedicating to take care of the body is the gratitude for the body for serving us. And turn your wrist, hold your wrist. Just visualize how blessed you are with everything that you've been given. Each and every part of your body organs their worth. A lot, and you're taking care of them as a trustee. This is your rental space for the soul to do what it has to do and relax. Arms straight, inhale and exhale. So you've borrowed this rental space, this body. And if you want this space to be good, take care. Anything that you take care in return will take care of you. That's law of karma. Whenever, whatever actions that we put in, we will get the benefits of those. Whatever they may be, good or bad, and relax. Rotate your shoulders. Inhale and exhale. Visualize your shoulders are perfect. There is no tension anywhere. All the energy, life's force energy is flowing perfectly in each and every joint of my body. Reverse. And relax. Wonderful. Inhale. Your neck. And exhale down. Inhale. And exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale down. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale right. And exhale left. Right, left, right, left, right, and left. It's two clockwise and Visualize your neck is completely relaxed. It's working perfectly. In motion without any tight. Reverse.
and relax. Wonderful. Let's do the eyeballs. So we're going to look up and down, up and down, up and down, and just continue that. Inhale and exhale. And right, left, right, left. Just continue with that. Right and left. Without moving your head. Clockwise. And reverse. And relax. Do left hand, press the left side. Right side. Middle. And behind. And relax. Wonderful. Okay, you can go ahead and sit down. And we'll do our second phase of our breathing Kapalpati, forceful exhalation. So when you're ready and you can start whenever. As you're exhaling, visualize all the negative energy is exiting from me. All my organs are working perfectly and my immune system is perfect. As I'm exhaling, go ahead and visualize being a fearless soul. I have no fear, fear of death, fear of anything that's going around me. I'm completely carefree. Connect yourself as that fear is completely gone from you. And go ahead and visualize yourself being with that divine energy. And he's giving you all the power of will to become fearless. Each and every cells of your body. Is free of any fear. My family is perfect. They're also under the canopy of Supreme's energy's protection. I'm under that light, all the rays of healing energy.
I can feel each and every cells of my body lighting with power. Release anything that you have that you've been holding on to your mind. From past, everything is released. I have no fear of future because I'm in the moment. I am in the presence of divine energy who I have taken the shelter of. Nothing can come close to me. I'm under his canopy of protection. Let's radiate that energy to each and every one in the world. As I am perfectly healed, as I am fearless, the whole world is becoming fearless. Everyone is happy and content and are connected with the divine energy. His rays are falling on each and every souls of this world. They're all powerful and relax. Perfect. And let's move on to our next breathing. Anulong Bilong. And exhale, right? And exhale, left. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. And exhale, left. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Continue. Visualize yourself, your body is completely relaxed and stable. Just making the left and right side of the brain. Utilize that. And visualize yourself. That your mind is stable. It is under your control. You are the creator of your destiny. What you create now will be your future. So let's focus on stabilizing this mind and creating very positive, beautiful world that is yet to come. Let's be in that model of future where everyone is peaceful, where everyone is loving. 
where everyone is fearless. No fear of body. No fear of anything. Let's be in that garden. Smell those beautiful flowers as you inhale and exhale. Visualize everyone is happy and content. They're all angelic, very calm and relaxed. As you stabilize this mind in that beautiful world, which is yet to come, your today becomes as good because what you think today gives you that happiness of what is yet to come. With these powerful, positive thoughts in your mind, let's get rid of any blockages, any knots, anything I've been holding on to. Let's forgive and forget everyone. Let's become merciful. Let's give hand to those who are in need of hands. Let's give power to those who are in need of power. Let's be a light to those who are in darkness. As I become powerful, the energy of my light reaches everyone in the world. Everyone is becoming light and light. Continue to stabilize your mind in that. As we're doing this yogic breathing, let's make this breath so powerful that your senses and your body is under your control. You're the master. And this body will listen to everything that you say. and relax. Wonderful. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to our next breathing, primary. So if you're not sure how to do this, we're gonna close our ears with our, with our thumbs. Index finger will go on your forehead and gently close your eyes with. Take a deep inhalation and you're going to chant Om through your nostrils. So it'll be like a humming sound, buzzing sound, okay? We'll do this for five times.
Acupuncture, acupressure, actually, and clap as fast as we can. And as hard as you can. the acupressure all the organs are in your hands and your feet so by clapping and that's why when we clap we are very happy right so we are happy because all the organs are receiving that energy as well okay now if you're sitting on the floor great extend your legs out front and as much as you can spread your legs with your right hand, touch your left toe in the opposite. Now suppose you're not flexible and you can't touch that toe, just go as far as you can. Doesn't have to be all the way up to your toe, but slowly your body will get used to it. And then you'll be able to touch your toe without any effort. Inhale and exhale. You can turn your neck in that direction as well. It's a whole body exercise. This is a beautiful exercise. Wonderful. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring both feet together forward and back, forward and back. Inhale and exhale. Your feet carries all the weight for your body. Yeah. That's why they say it's good to maintain your weight. Why? Because the more weight we have, the feet and your knees will have to carry that much weight. So when we are balanced, then your feet will also not have to carry too much weight either. And circle, inhale and exhale. As we see, let the exercise be your medicine. Okay. Slowly and surely, we can achieve the goal we want as we continue to be disciplined in reverse. Anything we start in the beginning, our mind is very happy to. And after some times, it says, I'm getting bored of this routine. <laughs> so then we say, okay. We try to entertain our mind with different things. So those who are disciplined, wiggle your toes. 
and in and out. And just make sure that if you do what you have to do, then you'll be happy and you'll be able to help yourself and others. Yeah, reverse. Because when your body feels good, your mind also feels good. And if your mind is bothersome, then your body will also feel heavy and tight. So balancing both ways, very, very important. Okay, tap your knees on the floor. This will loosen up underneath your knees. Those muscles. And go ahead and lock your kneecaps and release. So the way to lock your kneecaps is push your knees down and they're locked. And then when you release it, just keep doing this. You can do this practice anytime, as many times as you want during the day. Okay. And let's do grinding awesome. So just around and back. Inhale and exhale. This is a full body exercise as well. It feels good. And reverse. But again, most of these exercises you can repeat whenever you're sitting, you know, watching TV or you're just relaxing. You can do these exercises again. So very simple. And last but not the least, butterfly. Okay. And we all have wings to fly. And that flying stage is actually your mind, not the body, right? Because <laughs> you can't fly with the body. The whole idea about this flying is when you're flexible, you're not thinking too much about the body. You'll be easily able to focus and concentrate and connect with divine energy. So keep flying, and this will end our session with the flying stage. If you have any questions, you can stay back. Otherwise, thank you all for joining. Om Shanti.